Hello, good afternoon everyone, or should I say good evening, because it's uh, 20 past 5 here in uh, sunny Spain, in El Golfa, in the La Finca area, and uh, this is me, Pat, from the Costa Blanca Travellers. It's Sunday, the 12th of November, believe it or not, and today the weather has been absolutely amazing. Um, couldn't ask for more, just going to check that I'm on uh, the scene, because the sun's still quite strong here. So uh, just checking it, uh, <laughs> you can see me okay. Um, yeah, it's been a beautiful day, clear blue skies, and um, it's been absolutely up to 26 degrees, and I've been sitting outside um, just in her shorts, uh, enjoying the sunshine today and the warmth. It's been absolutely incredible. Uh, so, um, can't ask for more really, in, uh, for the middle of, uh, nearly the middle of November. Uh, this weather has been absolutely amazing. Um, so I thought today in this little series of daily vlogs that I'm doing, uh, I would do today is to give you some more information about El Golfa, the area, a little bit about the history side of it as well, and uh, we'll finish up with a uh, little bit of what's on in, uh, in and around the local area uh, this particular coming week coming up. So a little bit about El Golfa then. Uh, maybe some of you didn't know that El Golfa nestles in the valley of the Sierra de Colosa Mountains. Uh, it's a small range of mountains, uh, with the highest peak being at 572 meters high. So uh, quite a height, quite a height, and I know it's very popular with walkers and hikers and uh, cyclists as well. Uh, that particular mountain, uh, Mount Escotilla is the highest peak, name of the highest peak. It's visible from El Gorfa town itself and you can see it for miles around. Uh, if you go if you start to walk out of the town or anywhere you can uh, you can have, you have no problem seeing it. And from certain angles you can see La Ramita. La Ramita is a beautiful neo Gothic chapel and it was built in nineteen hundred and one by the Marquis of El Gorfa from a local quarry stone. So uh, you look out for that if you're going out of um, El Gorfa. Where can you find it if you want to go and have a look at that beautiful neo gothic chapel? Well, um, you can uh, find it on the road going out of town. I'll tell you about a little bit more about that in a moment. So you can also try one of the many mountain walks here. And I'm going to go on a mountain walk tomorrow. Uh, and uh, see what it's like because I haven't really been up high into the mountains yet. Uh, or you can walk to go golf if you want a more gentle stroll or pace, you don't want to have a going up a hill. You can walk through the beautiful orange groves from the Finca uh, and uh, so you can smell the orange blossoms in May, in May time. I walked it the other month and uh, I must say it was row after row of orange, uh, orange groves, really, really lovely. From November to March you can watch hares box, boxing, so if you've never look out for hares that might be boxing. Uh, you can see lizards basket in the sun uh, and in the background you can hear birdsong uh, and also listen to something that's called the Algorfa Roar. No, that's right, you heard me right, the Algorfa Roar. No, it's not a lion, don't worry, there's no lions loose around here. Uh, but it's just that's the carcophony set up by the bees buzzing around. And believe you me, they are really loud and you can hear them buzzing around the orange blossom when the oranges uh, start to blossom and the orange groves start to blossom and it's an absolutely amazing sound apparently I haven't heard it yet because I've not been here long enough but it's a sound uh, that you won't want to miss hearing uh, so with its origins going back to the Neolithic period far back as 3000 BC believe it or not El Gorfa officially came into existence in the year 1790 1790 it is today a small but bustling Spanish town. The outer urbanizations are Montimar, Montebello, Lomas de la Juliana, Lo Crispin, and La Finca Golf and Resort. The municipality of El Golfa was founded by a privilege granted in 1328 by King Alfonso II and it became part of the Kingdom of Valencia. The original village consisted at the time of just 15 homes uh, and today it's absolutely grown much much larger than what it has today. It's got a town hall, a police station, its own church 
several bars and restaurants, not to mention all the apartments and other uh, buildings around. It's got a recreation centre for sports, including tennis, swimming, squash and five-a-side football. So lots going on sports here, wise, uh, sports-wise here as well, guys. Um, now on the road, I mentioned about where, where can you find that chapel a bit earlier on, that neo-Gothic chapel. Well, if you go on the road outside the village towards Benehutha, you will find the 19th century neo-Gothic church. Okay, so just look for the signs heading out towards Benehutha. Uh, and you should be able to find it and also it will sure you'll find it on Google Maps if you uh, put in the actual name of the of the uh, chapel so there we go that's a little bit of history for you a bit more history on El Gorfo which I thought I'd do today so let's go on now then this week to what's on locally so first of all this coming up Friday coming up this Friday on the 17th of November the Yorkshire Pud in town, that's a very popular restaurant, do some absolutely amazing Sunday lunches there. So if you've never been, go make sure you go and try a, a Sunday lunch there. It's a carvery and you can go and help yourself to uh, as much as you want, pile your plate up if you want, absolutely amazing. Well they've got a murder mystery evening on this coming Friday, the 17th of November, at the Yorkshire Pub. Tickets are 15 euros, including a meal, uh, which is payable on booking. Meals served from 7 o'clock in the evening, but you must reserve your table at the bar or call them on 965-076-603. Now you'd have to be quick today if you're just watching this because I've only got four spaces left. And in fact they, they might have all gone now uh, as well. So uh, give them a ring, you never know, they might be able to fit you in. Um, and also on Friday the 17th of November, must give them a mention, all day supermarket in El Gorfa are having a Christmas market. Okay, now that's on from 11 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It, you'll find them on the Cali Constitution 17 in El Gorfa and they're doing lots of handmade items at this uh, Christmas craft market. So do go along and support them and have a look. Uh, apparently, they've got some really nice gifts in there for Christmas. Uh, so if you're looking for some gifts or some presents or some stocking fillers, go along there and they will sort you out. Okay, so what's next? Right, so we're on to now in Casada. We're going on the 18th of November. Uh, it's Casada's monthly market, and that's on at the Club Casada from 10 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The proceeds from this are going to, to very good causes. They're going to two local children's home charities. So definitely need your support there, guys. Uh, there's uh, all your favourite stalls there, apparently. Uh, they do have some handmade gifts, clothes, cakes, shoes, lotions and jams and chutneys, and goodness knows what else. Food is served all day. Uh, and they've also got some music on, which is Gather is particularly good. It's provided by the Casada Ukulele Group. I love the ukuleles, uh, so I might even try and pop down there myself. So uh, if you love ukulele music as well, while having a browse at Christmas items and all the stalls, get yourself down there to the Club Casada this coming uh, 18th of November. Okay, which is a Saturday, Saturday 18th of November. Okay, on to the next item there, and so which is on Sunday the 19th of November. Now on Sunday the 19th of November at Lord's Lounge in San Miguel, which isn't too far away from uh, from here by, by car, they've got a tapas and carna or vino. You can have it so you can get some tapas, you can order a carna, which is like a small small beer, or vino for three euros fifty. Very good value. Uh, Okay, three euros fifty to get a drink and tapas as well. Uh, and there you'll find them just off the Wednesday Market Street Road. It's called Cali Calvario Esquina 13. Cali Calvario Esquina 13. And you can telephone them if you want to book ahead on 9602 60463. Okay, that's, that sounds really good if you fancy some tapas. Okay, and the last of what's on today in this little section, on Saturday the 25th of November, that's in a couple of weeks' time, isn't it? Just, uh, just under a couple of weeks' time. Uh, you'll find Nico Weekend is performing at the New Chefs on Broadway, another very, very, very popular bar. 
uh, in, it's near Casada, and you'll find them on the Avenue Del Mar 1. Avenue Del Mar 1. Uh, so uh, a vocalist there called Nico Beacon. So if you fancy that, get yourself down there. Okay, so that's all um, I've got for you uh, on this daily vlog today. Um, so thanks again for watching. Um, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe and support the channel. Uh, you don't know where we might pop up or where we might be. It could be anywhere uh, around about in this particular uh, southern Costa Blanca. Uh, you might even find us going as far as northern Costa Blanca. Okay, so do keep on watching, supporting the channel, and let us know. Like, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Hasta luego, guys. Take care. Adios.